Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Rotate tool in Photoshop. So let's go to File New and create a new template. So at the moment, it is portrait page orientation, but let's say that you want it to be horizontal or landscape page orientation. You simply go to the Image menu, Image Rotation, and then 90 degrees. So now that's flipped your entire canvas to be landscape page orientation. But let's say that you only wanted to rotate certain elements of your design. So let's say you wanted to rotate some text, a shape, a clip art, um, like graphic, some um, like a pattern or anything that is part of the design and you just want to rotate just that one element. So all you need to do is create a new layer and then let's say that it was a rectangle and I wanted to put this on an angle. So with that layer selected, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be this, it could be text, clip art, whatever you want to rotate. Press Ctrl T on your keyboard and then come up here to this angle icon and then you can type in whatever angle you want to rotate it to. So you go 90, 45, you could do something obscure like 48.5 if you wanted to. You can put in whatever angle that you like um, and then just press enter when you're happy with where it has like moved to. So that's fine if you know what angle you want it to go to but let's say that you wanted to like go freestyle and you're not really sure the exact angle that you want. Press Control T and you'll see that these arrows appear, the one that's going to the left and then down. You can just left click and drag your mouse and you can move your shape around that way until you're happy with it. So for me, I use this mainly when I'm doing product mock-ups. So I usually go plus 5 or minus 5. So if you go minus, it'll lean towards the left. If you go a positive, it'll lean towards the right. So you can type that straight in or again, you can just left click and drag to move it around. And press enter when you're happy with how it's angled. So if you wanted to do it with text, it's the same deal. So let's just say I wanted to rotate this text. Press Ctrl T, again just left click and drag to move it around. Let's say that you wanted to rotate multiple layers at once. So if I wanted to rotate the high text and the rectangle, so let's say they were both straight and I wanted to angle both of them, you click on the first layer that you want to rotate, hold down Ctrl, and then click on the second one. So now you've got those two selected. And then you can press Ctrl T and again just move them all at once or type in the angle that you want. So it saves a lot of time rather than just moving each layer individually. And then it also is like way quicker because you don't have to just like sit there and manually type, okay, I want this to be five degrees in this, especially if you've got a lot of different design elements that you want to rotate all at once. So Ctrl will pick up selected layers. So let's say that you had um, some more layers here and you only wanted to rotate like this one and this one and this one. So I've just pressed the control key and doing that means I can select all of them individually. But let's say that you wanted to do all five of these rows, you want to pick up everything. It's going to take longer if you sit here and click control on every single one of them. So to quickly select all of them to move at once, you click on the first one, press shift and then click on the last one and we'll select them all for you. And then you can press control T and rotate just like before. So that will also speed up, speed up your workflow a bit as well. So that's it for this video. That's how you use the Rotate tool in Photoshop. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want some more quick videos on how to use Photoshop, things like how to use the Shape tool, Crop tool, um, how to color match anything, change colors, align tools. I've got heaps of different um, beginner tutorials on how to use Photoshop because like it took me forever to figure it out and I really wish that someone had just done like quick videos on how to use specific things in Photoshop. So I hope you find them helpful and I'll include the link below if you wanted to go and watch some of them. Thanks for watching. Bye.